Hello there! In this video you will know how to create product photography ideas, how to do product photography, how to shoot product photography, how to do the shoot for Amazon, Instagram and other e-commerce. After watching this video you will elevate your product photography skills to the next level. Let's watch it! What's the main thesis of this video? It's the concepting of photo shoot. If you'll think about product photography, you always remember some references. It's always something conceptual. And today I'll show you how I was creating the concepts for my shoot. I have to say sorry about my English. It's not my native language, but still I'm trying to speak it. I have experience that I want to share with you and I really hope that it will be useful for you and you will elevate your photography skills. Thank you. Today in this video we will talk about product photography for shoes and the concept that I've created for Nike Blazers. This is very old and very very popular pair of shoes. To create the concept first we need some information that represent these shoes, this product. And of course I started to Google. And what we know now is that these shoes were issued in early 70s and exactly this model has a reference to 1977, the win of the Blazers team on basketball. With these shoes everything is clear, but if you have another product and you have to do the product photography for it, you have to search for information in internet, in online communities, Facebook accounts, uh, community pages and everything that has connection to your product. Sometimes you can find interesting facts about the product that will allow you to create the concept and to create the new concept that you never saw before. But you don't have to be afraid of cliches. Cliches work better than the new ideas. I will explain this. I'm pretty sure that the references for product photography that you have in your mind they are in form of cliches. Cliches we can recognize very quick and the information that product photographer and the brand they want to tell us, we understand this concept very quick. Cliché is the coding system that we can recognize very quick and it's very efficient. So check the expert interviews, reviews of the product, search for interesting facts that you can play with. It's very important to make a list of these interesting facts for your product photography photoshoot concepting. I did the list and then I added my associations, the things that can express these facts in visual way. Because the visualization is the main thing that we try to achieve and that we try to use to express our idea. Of course, product photography should sell products. That's why we have to interact with our customers by visual coding. So here I will create the associations to every fact that I found about my product. Then we will think about the context. Who ordered this photo shoot? Who needs this product photography? And which of these uh, concepts can be okay, can be suitable for it? And then I create the mood board and send it to my customer. Because I have to get the confirmation from the customer and get the advance payment. So now I can stop with the theory and we can go to practice. Here I have my Nike Blazers 77 and I build my concept about the article that was in 77, Blazers team, they won some of competition in basketball. Of course, I was thinking where I can get this paper, but all the papers that I found, they were out of context because here in South of France, you can't find some papers from USA. But I found the scan on internet. So here I get the idea to use the projector and to project this uh, paper on the background of my shoes. So let's check what I got. The idea of this concept is to create the atmosphere and to show the prior success of these shoes because all this happened very long time ago. I had to express this time warp and still at the same time these shoes they are vivid and vital and to express this wipe I should use some diffusions like lens or prism. But first I'm going to talk about projector and projected background. First I try to use the wall just to check how it works and if it works at all, but then I come up with the idea to use the orange piece of paper as a background to fake the old paper paper and I think it looks not that bad so what do you think please write the comment below The biggest challenge for me was to attach the shoes 
and to control the distance between shoes and the background. Because if you can control everything within the frame, it means that you are a professional photographer and you can control the process. The idea to attach the Nike shoe with the scotch to the stand was bad. I lost time and finally I used the simple cord and finally it was good. I could control uh, the position of the shoe. And here you can see the first results of the shoe. Then I was trying to find the best position, best lighting and finally I got this. So here I use the cliché using paper projected on the background. I'm pretty sure you saw a lot of product photography shooting with the projection on background. But the idea of the newspaper is very good to me. So here I took another try and I found the mock-up with the paper. Then I put the scan of the paper in the mock-up and I got this. I think this is my little win in this photo shoot because this is simple and it looks very, very cool to me. I did a lot of shots with different positions of shoes, so client could get a lot of different uh, backgrounds, for example, for advertising or for his uh, website. So he could add some text on top of it and he will get cool looking background for his banner. So let's get back to our concept list and here next point is Vito and Vivid shoes. So for this I will use the orange background as well because orange is the box of these shoes. That's why I took this color and then I added this mirror surface. Actually because I had the table and it was very cool in this context. It makes orange more vivid and here we have this good and for me very clean composition. As I already said, my next concept was to appeal to old times where the shoes were issued. So here I wanted to show the time wrap and I will use the prism and the loop. I really enjoyed to play with these distortions. It looks so cool and so interesting to me. So you can use your hands to change the distortion grade and to change the angle of lens and prism. And it looks so new to me. And so I did a lot of good shots using lens and prism. I'm really happy that I found this handheld magnifier. It's easy to use and the result is amazing. Just look at these distortions. I also made some videos to use them as a gifts. You always need some bureau between your pictures, for example, in social media like Instagram. If you will do the carousel of photography and then you will put one of these gifts, it will attract the attention of the customers and I just like it. Oh, and I completely forgot about my DV camera. I used this to create this old atmosphere of 70s and here I got the old memories into the past and I hope you have it as well.
So all you need to concept in product photography is only your associations and the things that you can implement and that you can express and translate to your audience through your pictures and your photo shoot. So product photography can be interesting and easy. And thank you for watching. Bye.